the Commonwealth welterweight title, the property of Ted Kid Lewis in the early 1900s. In the 50s, there was Swansea's Cliff Curvis, also British champion. In the 60s, brother Brian, a world title contender. Another Welshman, Colin Jones, twice challenged for the world title. Lloyd Hannigan went one better for Britain, creating one of the great upsets. And more recently, Gary Jacobs reigned as Commonwealth champion. All among the biggest names to have held this Commonwealth welterweight title belt, a belt at stake again on Saturday fight night this week. And for all its illustrious history, it's fair to say that the current holder of the belt is a break with tradition in more ways than one. They call him the Lord of the Manor. Barry went to find out why James Hare has been lording it over his rivals in this division. In the heart of rural England, you just might find the Lord of the Manor. But you'll have to be quick to catch him. That'd be absolutely yeah, spectacular. Okay. Commonwealth welterweight champion James Hare clearly had a spring in his step as he took me running through the stunning Yorkshire countryside. Though there was little chance of the tortoise winning this one. Come on, buddy. <laughs> oh, God. The Robert Town Rocket relaunched his career when he teamed up with local trainer Chris Aston. And now both believe the sky's the limit. I think he can go a long, long way from where he is now. And that in today's, in today's boxing, uh, you know, we're talking about world titles. I like to think he could fight for the, the major world titles. I'm still going to progress and improve. Uh, and I need to, I need to answer questions, you know, and then people are going to step back and say, well, you know, James A, you know, is, is capable of doing them kind of things and, and progressing and winning titles. A complex switch hitter, James is now unbeaten in 23 fights. The key to this is a superb boxing brain. This enables him to quickly work out his opponent's strengths and weaknesses. Great stuff. Right. What, I, what I liked about what you done there today was you were able to adapt to my technique of working the pads. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's correct. I mean, uh, we, we, along with Chris Ashton and Pete Cullen, they're both good pad men. Uh, yeah. Another guy, Scott Walker, and, it, and it's, we vary it up, you know. Mm. Yeah. Does that account for your ability to work out styles quickly, do you think? I guess, I guess it's got to have something to do with it. Yeah. Maybe my uh, understanding for the game, maybe I don't know, I've been doing that a lot of years now. <laughs> See you on this year. well done. Cheers. Hare continued his march on a balmy hometown night as he captured his first major title. Oh, he gets him a lovely shot there. And down goes Holland. He's badly hurt still. It's Holland. The town is thrown in. It's over. The fight is over. James Hare is the Commonwealth. Champion. From the third onwards, I, I bust the guy up and I set him up for that right hand, you know. I managed to, you know, we, we tried, we teed him off and caught him just, just right. A successful first defence on Saturday could be the beginning of a hair story that looks set to run and run. Number one priority is uh, do a number on this guy uh, on October 5th and then we'll maybe look towards, you know, Defending it again, and, and we'll just see. We'll just see what happens with the promoters and such. And uh, we'll, you know, we'll just look to, to take each fight as it comes, one at a time, and just, just, just keep on building and keep progressing and keep improving. You know, but yeah, I'm, I'm, it's fair to say I'm, I'm happy and content. You know, he's a breath of fresh air, isn't he? He really is. He's such a lovely guy. He's, he's so, so nice and decent, and uh, he seems like in the wrong business. <laughs> He's uh, we'll he's make him a very, ugly before a very we finish capable with him, fighter, worry. I can tell you. Very capable, and he looks in tremendous shape. Up close, Barry, do you get the idea that there is more in terms of ability to bring out? Oh, without doubt. I think he's not beat his potential, not by a long shot. 60% there. And I think it's a tough division. It's a welterweight division that's coming and promising. And uh, he's got things to, to improve on, and, but I think he'll get better. Steve, perhaps we should underline that this is a, a man improving quickly now. Is that fair? No, I think that's absolutely fair. I mean, this guy has been around for a while, and suddenly we've seen in the last 18 months a major improvement. And what changed? Confidence, <laughs> isn't it? Confidence, and also the fact that he realised he's suddenly he's not 19 anymore. You know, he's a man in, a mid in his mid-20s, and he's got to go somewhere. Otherwise, you're going to be an undercard support fight. I just hope he moves into good fights and doesn't squander it like the light middleweights did. Hare looks to keep up the improvement. Top of the bill, then, defending the Commonwealth welterweight title against Farai Musiwa. Join us for Saturday Fight Night this week at 8 on Sky Sports 1. And our special guests will be his chief domestic rivals, Jawaid Kalik and Neil Sinclair speaking to us.